Fonts are a great way to add a touch of personality and to really showcase your brand on your Squarespace website. And luckily, Squarespace comes with integration with Adobe Fonts and Google Fonts, and there are literally thousands of fonts to choose from. But sometimes there are cases when you want to use a cute scripty font or maybe a custom font that isn't available through Adobe Fonts or Google Fonts, and then you need to actually add it to your Squarespace website. So how do you do that? That's what this week's tutorial is all about. If you're new around here, my name is Anna Lea, and I'm all about helping you create websites and content that converts. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs, like, thumbs up so I know to create more videos like this in the future. With that said, let's dig into the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, I have to mention that before we go to add a custom font to your Squarespace website, you're going to need to make sure that you have the correct files. And in this case, you are going to need either an OTF or a TTF font, font file. And then you're also going to need WOFF and WOFF2. So those are the three types of fonts, font files that you are going to need. Uh, you can easily do this by purchasing a font and then choosing a web font license and uh, making sure that uh, your font has uh, those two extensions at the end. So you're going to need all, all three of those files. It doesn't really matter if you use OTF or TTF, either of those will work, but you definitely have to have the WOFF and WOFF2 files or WOF and WOF2 files. You got to make sure that you have those because those are the fonts that are in the web friendly format and they uh, it'll make sure that they display properly in different browsers. So first you have to make sure to have that. Then once you have that, you are going to go to design, custom CSS, and then manage custom files. And then you're going to click this arrow that says add images or fonts. And you are going to upload TTF and then repeat the process for WOFF and for the second one as well. So once all of that, th those fonts have been uploaded, what you're going to do is now it's time to actually add them to your website and tell Squarespace to actually use them. So what we're going to do is we are going to add this little bit of code in first. This bit of code tells Squarespace that you want to use a custom font. And the only line, they, there are a couple of lines that you need to change here. So first you need to change this font name. So in this case, I'm just going to say custom because it doesn't need to be exact as uh, the name of your font. So I'm just going to name it custom. And then here where we have URL, you are going to replace this with the URLs to the files that you just uploaded. And the easiest way to do this is to come over here in the first bracket, delete the first font, and with your cursor, cursor still in between those brackets, click on manage custom files, and then click the TTF font file first. Then click out of that, come over here to the second URL, in between the brackets, delete this, and you can even double click the first WOFF uh, font file, as you've seen me do just now. And then finally come to the last bracket, and then it'll pop up with the font suggestions or file suggestions rather and then double click the second one okay so now we've added our fonts to squarespace now we need to actually tell them tell squarespace how to use them so for that you're going to add a new line in custom css and you're going to say h3 let's say we want it on uh, heading 3 and i'm scrolling through the page to find a uh, portion of the page that actually uses H3 so you can see the changes. And then you're going to open up a set of curly brackets and in between them you're going to say font family custom and as you can see it's changed the font to the one we just uploaded. And after that you got to make sure that the font name is in between the quotation marks and I will leave a code in uh, the blog post that goes with this tutorial. So be sure to click through and grab that bit of code and then add semicolon. So let's customize it a little. You're going to add, let's say font size. Let's make it a little bigger, colon. 
and then let's say 28 pixels oh that's too small oops let's make it bigger i said 36 pixels 42 pixels let's just make it bigger semicolon and let's say you want to change the color so you're going to say color colon and then let's say ea1157 semicolon and in case that didn't take we are going to delete that and say important and then add semicolon and as you can see it now changed the color we made it slightly bigger and it's using our custom font and that'll basically apply to all heading threes on your website. And then you can click save and you're essentially done. And that's how you can add custom fonts to Squarespace. As you can see, it's not too difficult and there isn't a lot of code involved. And if you just follow the steps that I outlined, that I outlined, that I outlined in this tutorial, you'll be able to do it yourself. And if you want to learn more about how to get started with Squarespace in 2022, I have a beginner tutorial over on my channel that you can watch next. So definitely be sure to do that. That's it for this week and I'll see you next time. Bye!